everybody, it's Andy at Tracy Seismograph. So we got a lot going on tonight, so I thought I would jump in here and we would uh, have and a little talk about all the silly stuff that's going on. So as you know, we've got a big swarm of earthquakes of happening California, over in the Del Puerto Canyon area. So here's California. Patterson, Del Puerto UHD Canyon's where all the dots are here. And you can see the spread of events that are going on. Uh, it looks like by the beach balls here. So this is called a moment tensor. This is something that we use that tells us what is going on based on the seismic waves as they come in and based on the latest USGS uh, reviews of stuff. What it looks like we have happening, this is called a reverse oblique fault. And basically we have a block of ground being uplifted out there and when we talk about the faults so we'll go to another map here you can see there's no like here we have the great valley thrust fault system and basically things that happen out here are going to be as a result of part of the great valley the thrust fault so what we're seeing is a thrust type action going on out here the the little dark lines that you see in here the black lines these are quaternary faults that are mapped um fairly certain that they exist. They haven't had any real activity on them in quite a while. Um, as you guys know, going back about a month, we had another event, which I believe was this one right here. Nope, that's 918. Let's see if this is actually going to go back far enough for me to see that event. And I don't think it is because that other event was right in this same area right here. So basically what we've got going on out here is uh, what is this one? The 913 event, which was the 4.4. Over here we have the 4.5 at uh, 913 p.m. again. But this is where things are happening. There are some old ancient fault lines out here. There is pressure that's being applied. That's what made this this whole mountain range out here is these pressures that are being applied. This big yellow line here is actually a line that marks the Great Valley slab and that slab dips at about 20 degrees to the west meaning it's going as it's going down it's going at a 20 degree angle and it's going to the west so basically it's going towards where all of these fault events are happening so basically you have uh, some uplift going on out here that's how we got these hills that are out here is there was some uplift that happened uh, way back millennia ago and just like mother nature always does the uplifts are continuing to happen so at this point uh, we're probably going to see some more shock after shock activity uh, the last event was the largest of the ones we've seen and then it fell back off to a little one point something uh, I suspect for probably the next 24 hours, we're going to see more activity out of this area. Uh, historically, I'm not really finding any, any historic activity coming out of that Del Puerto area that can give me any idea of what the maximum magnitude of these magnitude of these events could be. Uh, but I don't suspect we should see anything over a magnitude 5, probably at the greatest. So I think we're seeing the worst of what we're going to see over the next 24 hours at this point. But the swarm does continue to go on. Um, like I said, you can see we started with a 4.0. We worked to a 3.6 or our magnitudes went down. We hit a 4.4. That would be that event right there or magnitudes went down and they're continuing to drop again. So I think basically what we're seeing is a couple of main shocks and then aftershocks coming along as uh, the blocks out here settle around. So that's kind of where we are for now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you guys back to the seismograph. Fear not, stay tuned, don't be scared, be prepared, and uh, we'll see where we go. Thanks a lot, guys.